dear students i have come with the new module classification of data so if i'll tell you the introduction what is classification classification is grouping of related facts into different groups see for example in a class students are there who got distinction who got first class who got pass percentage who are failed so we can divide it into four classification the students in a class we can divide it into four groups so facts in one class or group will differ from those in another group those who got distinction is different from those who got first class so like this we can differentiate the characteristics when you are putting them into proper groups so classification is based on the common characteristics see here in the example we, the marks will be the deciding factor to which category or which group they belong the best example for classification is sorting of letters in a post office they sort the letters according to the area so that they are dividing or they are classifying the letters now what are the objectives of classification first one is to arrange the data into few groups having common features so the common features all the students who got distinction we are dividing into one group all the students who have failed we are putting it into one group so if we want to make comparisons or draw inferences and locate facts so if you want to concentrate on the students who failed in the subject it's easy because we are getting in one classification who are this number of students who failed in the subject third point is to highlight significant features of data at a glance one side if you have two or three students failed if you got 20 students who got distinction out of 100 students then it's a good sign for the teacher and for the college or the institution so highlight significant features this many students got distinction from this class for all the subjects or one subject so this is a significant we can highlight the significant features of data at a glance fourth point is to give prominence to important information giving importance to certain features see distinction first class pass percentage failed we are giving importance to each and every information now continuing with that to drop unnecessary information see one or two students discontinued the course those students we will not include in the classification so we can drop unnecessary information because there is no point in continuing with the information of students who cancel their admission next is classification is the basis for tabulation and analysis of data so classification is the first step when we get the classified data we will make tabulation and from tabulation we will analyze the data next point is to get a mental picture of objects for presentation and conception that meaning now we are going to learn about the diagrammatic presentation of data we can present the data using bar diagram pie chart all the diagrams so it will be more convincing for the reader and it will be more communicating to the reader and it will have a lasting effect on the reader's mind next is to summarize data can be easily understood and remembered so easily we can remember that if you see a diagram or if you see a table if the data is not classified we are not able to get any idea from that data but even it's classified divided into groups we are getting some information and that we can remember also now types of classification we are dividing into four this classification is based on the objectives or purpose of enquiry so first one is geographical classification second is chronological classification third is qualitative classification and fourth is quantitative classification we are going to explain one by one in detail so first one is geographical classification as the name indicates what is geographical classification classifying data based on the geographical or locational differences between the items karnataka kerala chennai all the states if you are dividing the data then you can call it as geographical classification so it can be states districts zones regions different districts anything like that you can present the data two examples i am giving population figures collected we will analyze state wise similarly gst collected by different states we are presenting in the form of geographical classification now chronological classification as the name indicates chronology means it's the year wise classification so when data is observed over a period of time so that is known as chronological classification gst collected from 2002 to 2020 or gst collected from 2008 to 2020 so this is chronological 
year wise we are presenting the data so when the data is collected on the basis of time so time is the deciding factor for classification in this case so examples food grains production recorded from 2000 to 2020 next it is usually recorded from the earliest period so if you are recording food grains production from 2000 to 2020 we will start the first year as 2000 so that we can make the very good clarification that is whether it's a showing an increasing trend or a declining trend so that is why the earlier year we will take it as the beginning year now the third classification is qualitative classification so you have to remember that all the information we cannot measure in terms of numbers some information we can measure as a quality honesty beauty employment intelligence all this we can be measured in terms of characteristics but later there are techniques i told you scaling techniques and we will use and with this qualitative information we will convert it into quantitative information for statistical analysis so this is if you are classifying the data based on any qualitative information which is not capable of direct measurement into quantitative terms or numbers then we call this classification as qualitative classification so this data can be converted into quantitative data using scaling techniques now the third point also called as descriptive classification or classification with respect to attributes so the attribute meaning what is the characteristic we are studying so this classification is used when the attribute under study cannot be measured beauty intelligence honesty satisfaction all these are the attributes so it is possible to find out whether it's present or absent in the data we are collecting so are you employed yes or no so that is the answer we will get how you are satisfied somewhat satisfied dissatisfied not satisfied all these explanations all these measures we can measure and later we will convert them into quantitative terms now there are subdivisions for this three subdivisions are there one is simple classification second is twofold or dichotomous classification and third is manifold classification so the first one if you see simple classification the population we are dividing with just two attributes blinds and non-blinds why we are doing this we are not doctors who are doing research is not a doctor so only doctors can measure the blindness of a patient whereas here when a researcher is doing that when he will collect only two information whether he is blind or not blind now we will come to the second classification dichotomous classification the present level we are dividing again into one more classification so population blinds non-blinds again blind and non-blind we are dividing into male and female so two variables are studied or presented in this diagram then it is known as dichotomous classification now the third one is one more characteristic we are adding so population male female then whether literate or illiterate so three characteristics we are showing population male and female then blind non-blind literate illiterate so three characteristics we are studying then it is called manifold classification now we are coming to the last classification that is quantitative in classification this is the most popular classification we are using and this is dealing with the numbers we are directly measuring the values and we are dealing with the numbers so the first point is if the data is classified on the basis of phenomenon which is capable of quantitative measurement so many examples marks we can measure income expenditure height weight all these measures we can directly measure in terms of numbers so quantitative phenomena under study is known as a variable so this whatever we are studying if you are studying marks mark is the variable so this classification is also known as classification by variables now if you see that example one table i have given marks and the number of students so here you have to remember the variable is the weight so it's not the marks it's the weight so weight of students and the frequency is the number of students this is the module i want to explain and we'll see with the next module thank you